Hey everyone, my name is Ben Consoli. I am a director and owner of BC Media Productions. And today we're gonna to talk about one of my favorite effects in Final Cut Pro 10 called voiceover enhancement. Now, if you're like me, you're doing a lot of pieces that have interviews, voiceovers, dialogue, and the sound of those voices need to be pristine. The voiceover enhancer lets you do this with incredible ease. The presets are fantastic, but it also gives you a lot of control. So let me show you how to use the voiceover enhancer in Final Cut Pro 10 to make all of your voices sound really good. So here we are in the Final Cut Pro 10 interface. I have the clip that I'm going to be manipulated already on the uh, timeline here. Click it. Then I go over to the effects browser, and this is where all your effects are. In the audio section, we've got all sorts of great audio effects, and it's so easy to sample the sound. All you have to do is roll your mouse right over the thumbnail. Check it out gives you a lot of control. So let me show you. Or this one. The voiceover enhancer lets you do this. So you can very quickly and easily just play with these effects right on the fly. The many reasons why it's. Now we're here to do voiceover enhancements. So this is the effect we're going to use. Now I already know I love the sound. So I'm going to drag the effect right over to my clip. Now I want to manipulate it a little bit. So I go in here to the inspector and you see the voiceover enhancement section. Final Cut Pro 10 actually has Logic plugins directly in the program, and three of the most important plugins for voiceover enhancement are the compressor, the deesser, and the channel EQ, and they're all included in this voiceover enhancement tool, which is why I love using this. Now, if you want more control, you can open up the dialog boxes and look at this. You actually get access to the full Logic plugin. Now, I strongly suggest learning how to use the compressor, the deesser, and the channel EQ. And if you do know how to use these things, you can get right in here and make all the detail changes that you want. But if you don't know how to use these, uh, or you do, but you just want to do something quick, the presets are actually really, really good. In the amount slider, you can actually see in real time the changes that it makes here in the compressor if you look over here. There are also real-time changes in the clip's waveform. Let me show you what it looks like without the voiceover enhancement. And let me show you what it looks like with the voiceover enhancement. Now you can apply the effect clip by clip really easily by selecting the clip, going to copy, going to the clip you want to copy the effect to. In this case, I'm gonna do both of these. Right up here to edit and do paste attributes. Then you can select the exact attributes that you want right here, voiceover enhancement. Now, when I press paste, the same voiceover enhancement settings that you have on your first clip will now be pasted on the two selected clips. And that's just one way. You can also put everything into a compound clip and then drag the voiceover enhancement effect to the compound clip, make your adjustments, and the entire piece is treated with the effect. You don't have to go clip by clip. So there you have it, great audio within Final Cut Pro 10. And that's just one of the many reasons why it's my NLE of choice. Now, if you're interested in learning more, I highly suggest do it the right way. Use a service like lynda.com, Larry Jordan, or rippletraining.com, which is what I use. Learn it the right way because it's a tool. And if you learn how to use it, you'll have great success with it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.